variety of teams have shown interest in players such as Damian Lillard, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden, one of those players being Bradley Beal. Today we will be talking about the pros and the cons of the Phoenix Suns and Washington Wizards trade on Sunday morning. The Phoenix Suns have reportedly traded Chris Paul, Landry Shamit, and multiple second round picks to the Washington Wizards for superstar Bradley Beal and Jordan Goodman. On paper, this seems like an amazing trade for the Suns, though the Wizards have also benefited in this trade too. First, they were able to bring another superstar without having to trade their starting center DeAndre Ayton. Also, they were able to release aging Chris Paul, who is in the last years of his career. As we know, Chris Paul or CP3 was an isolation player. Going back to what Landon said, they were able to one, get a better isolation player, and two, get someone who is much younger. The Washington Wizards have also benefited from this trade. They got a player who can run the struggling Wizards offense. Then the Wizards can develop a two-man game between Chris Steps, Porzingis, and Chris Paul, which could be lethal. They also got an awesome role player in Landry Shamet, who can be a nice fit for the Wizards. Shamet averaged around three threes a game in the 2023 playoffs. Teams facing the Wizards will finally have to guard the perimeter. There are a bit of downsides for both teams too. First, the Suns are losing a 17-year-old veteran, Chris Paul. They are also losing an amazing role player in Landry Shamet who has a very good three-point shot. This decreases the team's depth. For the Wizards, Bradley Beal was a superstar and a huge part of the Little Wizards' success. Jordan Goodwin did not contribute too much to the Wizards' success, though he was a decent role player. This wraps up the Suns and Wizards trade. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for later updates. Thanks for watching, LB Hoops.